is only half the battle. Proving yourself again and again is the true measure of performance. For more than three decades, GE Reentry Systems has met the challenge of change by continually pushing the state of the art of hypervelocity reentry technologies. Reentry is leading the way in the application of hypervelocity technologies, which are being developed from maneuvering reentry vehicles and systems to design a new generation of projectiles. These technologies are being downsized, G hardened, and integrated with extremely diverse lightweight electronics and miniaturized control systems. The small caliber smart munition projectile is reentry's latest development of a command guided gun launched projectile developed for defense against advanced AAW threats. This extremely fast, highly maneuverable RF command guided projectile will offer greater accuracy and lethality than conventional close in weapon systems at a significantly lower cost to kill ratio. The SCSM contract was awarded to GE from Naval Sea Systems Command and the Naval Surface Warfare Center in the third quarter of 1991. As part of GE's state-of-the-art technology and miniaturization, we have chosen to use a high-density interconnect electronics packaging in our design. Our GE high-density interconnect is a technology developed by GE and is being utilized on small caliber of smart munitions electronics. High density interconnect consists of an alumina substrate, the integrated circuit chips, the overhead interconnection, layers of polymer and metallization to provide the uh, electrical connections between circuits. GE has utilized idea solid modeling to formulate the high density microelectronic package for small caliber smart munitions electronics. The cylindrical shape is shown on this display uh, represents the form factor uh, that will survive high G setbacks and compression loads uh, as applied uh, to the electronics during the launch environment. An exploded view of the electronics shows the battery, the telemetry package, the HDI circuits, the command receiver and antenna. Uh, GE has been able to miniaturize this electronics by utilizing HDI technology in this area. In 1992, Reentry Systems will also provide projectile assembly and fire control systems assembly, which will lead the SESM program into the system demonstration in the second half of 1993. At that time, the Navy and Reentry Systems will provide a proof of principle demonstration of the capabilities of a guided projectile to intercept a maneuvering target. The 60 millimeter electrothermal launched SESM projectile features a steel body a single axis control rolling airframe and a solid propellant maneuvering subsystem. This will offer unsurpassed protection to our naval forces from the threat of advanced anti-ship weapons. As a part of Reentry Systems' commitment to maintaining this vital technological capability, we have been totally committed to engineering process improvement on this program. GE Aerospace has instituted the Engineering Process Improvement Program to optimize and leverage GEA resources to integrate and standardize the engineering process across the departments. This will enable us to help reduce design cycle time and also reduce total product cost. The cornerstones of the EPI process are very simple. Standard processes based on engineering best practices, process and tool automation using state-of-the-art hardware and software, and most importantly, training so that we can provide our engineers with the proper training utilizing these tools and processes efficiently. The SCSM program exemplifies implementation of many of the EPI best practices that we are trying to institute across GEA. The SCSM is one of the front-running programs in which we have fully leveraged the power of our software and hardware to streamline the design process. The, mo the SCSM model that we now have on the screen is a very good example of a completely paperless integration in which we integrated solid model concepts from the electronic packaging engineer, propulsion engineer, into an overall top level assembly solid model. From this point we were able to use seamless data transfer and stereolithography to rapidly generate a full scale replica of the SCSM solid model. Reentry Systems has been working in conjunction with SICAM of New Jersey, developing a stereolithography model for SESM. 
Stereolithography is a three-dimensional printing process where an object is produced directly from a computer-aided design tool's solid model file of that object. The object is produced in a series of cross-sections from a liquid polymer that solidifies when exposed to high-intensity ultraviolet light. Reentry Systems recognizes the benefits that electrothermal launch and hypervelocity projectiles offer for defense and science. We also understand the risks and technical challenges to be addressed. We've committed our extensive research and technical resources, as well as our three-decade legacy of pioneering innovations and superior performance to design solutions that define this exciting new technology.